Alright, I'm still on my alt. Whatever. I'll change after this. J.A. buff coming in clutch. It's dying on the right super. Oh, 
Nah, that J buff is so fucking huge. Most of these instant overheads wouldn't have landed if, if like, pre patch They wouldn't have comboed, but it does now. So fucking good, man. GG's day. Not sure. House will probably be busy, so I don't know if I'm gonna stream. But who knows? I forgot to run an ad, and someone else news them. I already had Christmas dinner on Tuesday. I don't know if they're gonna do it again here, because I was not in this house. That went under, bro? So fast, what the fuck? Pop me on my dash. Jesus. Oh, 
I panicked on that conversion because I thought I was gonna do the 4S merge ender, but I thought I might not have enough to get into wake things, so I just I panicked. But luckily, still worked. The seeds attract a new challenger. Round one. Come here, roll. What the fuck? Ram one invuln. Hello. Oh. Oh. I missed input on that 2A. What the fuck? That roll back. Safe jump, baby. <laughs> Oh, 
Ah, oh, fucking lag. Okay. GG's. It's up. That was so unreactable. I was waiting for it, and it was like, oh, no, I'm guard canceling. It's that. Close. I just downloaded him. He slid every single time I tried to run up and find it. Well, y'all, look. So, we were both wrong, but we were we also were kind of right. We were all wrong here. <laughs> Everyone was wrong. Everybody calm down. All right, you're overreacting. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now it's time to jump straight into Swift Master versus Berserker. Fast individual. The change for Blue Link is here. No longer God help me. God help me. You have been blessed, Blue Linkies. Yo, I love the jump in from Hubert right there to really try to contest that aerial space, but now you're caught in a really bad situation. Oh, tries to roll out of the pressure there with the jump in, but Blue Linkies is going to be able to catch Hubert. Um, there's the guard cancel out immediately into the frenzied state, but it's gonna run into a huge starter here. Hubert's dead. Oh my god. Hubert. You said, die. Let me bring my health a little bit for you. Make it easier. Uh, sorry, y'all. I was supposed to block. <laughs> okay, there is orbs back some block button, too. Ooh, what a call on that DP. That was a beautiful fastball here for Blue Linky. Drops the last conversion here. Great roll. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is amazing. Ooh, and the air combo. That's the boss we like to see. 2S now being jump cancelable means you're gonna get some more flashy combos across the cast. I can't believe we rolled through the raging storm and got a punish like Chef's Kiss. Let's go. Oh, oh the throw! Yo! No! No! Let's go! That's godlike. That is godlike. <laughs> Hubert, what an explosive round. All because of rolling through the Raging Storm, right? Utilizing those new buffs on the defensive mechanics. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a conversion attempt right there. That's not a good look. Oh, no. Look at your health bar. I mean, they may have buffed health off the board, but it doesn't really matter when the characters deal this much damage. Look at the damage. You're dead. You're actually dead here. Oh, perfect coming out here for Blue Linky. Gonna go up in the first game. Blue Linky is already set up here, and I tell you, this is getting real devastating here. Nice trade, round start. Okay, nice tornado here, Raging Storm. Gonna get our Ender in just a moment after this orb series. I mean, we just blink and we miss it, right? And, and Swift Master just health, like the damage that Swift Master is capable of, is just huge now. Nice block on DP from Hubert. Gonna be able to close out this as well with Hubert. Great route. All right, Hubert really close to tying things up now. Just needs to keep the momentum going forward. Goes for the 2B here at round start, but he's gonna get... It just keeps getting hit in the face by these fully charged S's here, which leads to huge damage. I mean, it's the best starter for Swiftmaster. Just keeps trying to jump in on it, and it's, it's not helping. It is not helping Hubert's case right now. Look at the chip damage, pressure to the corner. Once again, great. I love it. I love it. I love this patch, Jobber. Roll through. Let's get a punish. You're telling me we have defensive options that work now? 
Yeah, because I mean, like, before this patch, roll was nice. You know, it was some characters can use depend. It was very specific. Right now, uh, it's an option. It is a tool. Oh my god, and the Gore-Tex there. Hubert utilizing the buffs off of the dive kick as well to get a nice combo here to close things out and tie it up 1-1. One, one. Lord. Good rap. And, and good on Hubert to roll through the Raging Storms. Yeah, I mean, you cannot throw out Raging Storm willy-nilly anymore as Swiftmaster, right? It's not free because... Roll is now frame one in bowl. That is huge. Moment that you press it, you are going through anything. Except for Grover. I just, I love it. I, ah, I love this game. Here we go, we're gonna be able to get some pressure in the corner. Are we gonna opt for a reset? Yes, we do. And we catch the roll out. 50% life lead right now for Blue Linkies here. And you can see that Blue Linkies is starting to call out these rolls now, right? Realizing yes. that Hubert is very roll happy to escape from some of the pressure. Cool, good guard cancel. Converts low with the 2B. Oh, dive, and now we have the Frenzy State, and we're awakened too, so damage buff. Short hops, converts. And I am C4 IQ coming through with the raid. Thank you so much for the support here. Yo, that was roll into DP right there to avoid the jump in from Blue Linky. It's your death now. That's a round oh. here. Didn't even have to end it with a super. <laughs> Just wanted to make, make a mistake. We don't want to make mistakes here. We want to be for sure, you know? You finish your food. Nice Vortex in, got the conversion to keep the pressure. Chasing off to the west side of the screen. Good, this charge S. All right, back up there. I run straight into the DP. Wow. Was that, convert? was that two converts? Dash up convert and convert again? He went. He was trying to go for the big swing there into the convert and then uh, ran up for the command grab. And now he's going to be able to close this out and go up 2-1. What is this top eight gonna look like tonight? This is gonna be crazy. I I can't even imagine the, the kind of things that these players are gonna pull out because like we've said every single week here, we see something we have not seen before and now there is a whole new world of things we have not gotten a chance to see. Mm -hmm. Okay, good roll there and look, no raging storm this time too. Like great awareness from Blue Linkies. Okay, punish again. Not overextending, but that's the mental game that you're gonna have to play now in this pack. Yeah, and unfortunately Hubert does roll into the raging storm this time, and that's gonna give Blue Linkies a huge life lead here. Hubert is an awakening though, which means any hit he gets is going to bring back health. Wow. This game rules. This game rules. <laughs> I laid out this trap of wind, and now you're going to be stuck in this wind dimension. Oh, there's the DP. Conversion after the 5B to block the DP. That was beautiful. Great reactions from Blue Linky. No confirm on the 2A. Couple highs for you. All right, 2B again. Gonna be DP for the huge swing here. It shouldn't be enough to close this out because Blue Linkies is not in Awakening. It's a grip though, pretty close. Oh, and then just mashing 5A, I love that. That is just a huge call out on a wake up roll from Hubert, which Hubert has been kind of doing a little too much now in this set. Round one. 
the jab. Push in the corner here. Get already take to the sky. It's a great anti here with the 5A starter. Oh, only goes for one this time. Keeps it short so he can get the throw, keeping Hubert on his toes. Nice, got the charge. Yeah, we're gonna need one more route after this here, and oh my god. I mean, this is still dangerous for Blue Linkies, right? Exactly, right there. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, you might be dead. No, oh, you not dead. Oh bad. no, you are definitely dead now. One more suck, and he's gonna be able to close out that round. Goodness. And here we go. Hubert now, the one sitting at set point. But we've seen Blue Linkies make the comeback so far. Alright, nice 5B. Back up to the corner once again, too. Pull back for another loop series. Sets up the orb here to keep the pressure going. There's three of them into a throw. Hubert's been falling for that these last few rounds. Oh, and sucks him straight into the tornado while he's airborne. We might be going to a final game, final round. It is very possible here. It needs one more open. We'll chip away if we want to. You want to hold back? There's a guard cancel from Hubert. Oh, no. Caught low this time. Yes, let's go. All right, back to actually create some space but gets sucked into the range of 5 AA thanks to that tornado here. I like it though that Hubert is starting to back up. There we no. go, DP. <laughs> Great reversal DP right there too. Get off of me. Jeez. Great conversion there for Blue Linkies. Look at a solid confirm. Plenty of scratch damage to remove off the table. All right, off the backboard here. Gonna be able to get the hard knockdown. You see, he's trying to condition Cooper here. He's been throwing him pretty much every single time after those fast falls. So went for the just normal button presses this time. There's the guard cancel out. Got caught jumping in here. Lots of health being regained. And Awakening State is active for both players. Now, but the DP gets called out. What a full shimmy from Hubert. All the way from downtown. And now I'm running over it. That is a trap narrowly avoiding it and ready for the punish there to be able to take it over blue linkies that is huge for hubert going to be moving forward in the bracket Shot here here especially being able to roll through yeah. some of these bullet shots but 2a i think is going to be a big threat against some of this roll through against some of the mid-screen pressure that uh that berserker has the potential to kind of close out the rest of the spacing that makes it very difficult for berserker to normally get in and fell fair and you ask him why does inquisitor burn everything then you ever read berserk <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> Let me tell you a thing about a Holy Crusade. Uh, <laughs> read that on your own time. <laughs> oh, but that 2B is going to be able to catch the Stereo Stranger, getting the pickup once again with that newly buffed dive kick, leading to some fancy combos. Whoa! Helm splittered and whip punished the 2A. There's no dash up there. We keep these hops short. Had to end it a little early though, running out of mana, and this is the problem with Berserker. We see it. So oh! Are you. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mysterious Stranger. That was just really unfortunate. I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> That was just depressing. Got to press the awakening. <laughs> He's going to block the DP here, though. Mock kick starter. And I like that he didn't go for the third one there, right? He held on to it, so he didn't go straight into the burnout state. Had more man to continue the combo, but Hubert is going to be able to turn things around here. The grip of damage here, not enough to get mana back quite yet. We're just starting that. Oh, the reset well. will allow you to get a kill here too. 
Yo, the double convert, bad BMing, and DNF duel. <laughs> Look, I thought the only one that could say GG shake my hand was Hitman, all right? <laughs> Spending all resources on the screen. Said flex, flex with the convert. Uh-oh. A good start here from Hubert. Yo, another Helm Splitter too. Just avoids the 5A. Ooh, dive kick coming in. Up. Ooh, I like how he jumped into the air following the reset. Knew that Mysterious Treasure was going to tech out into the air, so one pressure. Oh my god, wait. Are you gonna be dead? You might be able to push yourself into awakening. No way. Oh my yep. god, Hubert! Yep. Yeah, Hubert is definitely on fire right now here. Hubert, you're gonna overheat your PC. You keep playing like this. You need to. You need to take a break. You've been playing all day, house. Don't lie. Oh, and excuse me. This is the first match of top eight. Yeah, I told you. I wasn't making it up. Oh, baked up the DP. Oh, caught low. Trying to convert block. Oh my god. I mean, you said it, dear. You said, what are we going to see in this upcoming top eight? Huber is showing it to you right now. Yeah. There's the command grab. No way. He gets the dive kick off the command grab. That's... Oh! I'm learning so much tonight, dear. This game is so insane. Like, what is happening? One day... We're all like, yeah, you know, Ranger's gonna put you in block stun and you're, you don't get a turn. And now, now you can actually fight against him. Reliably. Is two blood walls? I know it's not new, but I feel like it is. There's a lot going on. And Yuri Kov coming through with the 21 months. Thank you, Yuri Kov. Oh. Oh. oh my God. No, he, he, okay, he's not dead. Combo has too many hits. Right? Um, Purely. Yeah, too many hits. You have to reset. You have to reset. No. No! Zero! Zero! You have to reset. Hubert. Hubert! You have to reset. Hubert! Hit? Foul! Five hit combo and you're dead? How? Foul! Foul on the play! No! That's insane. Normally, what's... Like, when it comes to Berserker, normally around 35 hits is where the combo will eventually drop out. God, let's go! DP, don't you put Berserker in Awakening State, y'all. Again, increased damage, increased white life. That's chip damage. Yeah, put into the corner, but if you're Hubert, you better not mis let Mysterious Stranger escape oh here. God. You are already in Awakening. Look, we saw a 65 hit combo. This is a yep, there's the, I was gonna say. Ain't gonna happen again. Well, but again. And there's Roll the back, bro. Yep. Oh no. The patience from the Mysterious Stranger. And that is actually the, the big downside to Berserker, right? He made insane offense, insane damage, but you are bleeding yourself dry while you are hurting your opponent. Meaning that if you allow them to escape for one second and breathe, they can close out in a single combo. Hold the convert. Yo, where do you think you're rolling to? Oh, <laughs> yeah, no mix up. Just gonna throw you. Not again, not again. Nope, you won't convert and mix me. Sorry, not again. But Hubert is doing an incredible job blowing up the 2A there with the Helm Splitter, right? Just a really yeah. solid low crush tool. And. Oh, he resets into command ground. <laughs> you know. Said it in chat. Wait, what just happened? This is Hubert optimized, right? Because it does say. Hubert's new game, his new in-game tag is Hubert. Optimal. So before it was not optimal, <laughs> Hubert. True. 
And now Absol we have Optical. Or Berserker, you Berserker. Know. Berserk will do any Slayer class, right? That's what they are? Yeah, you know, any. They are Vagabonds, in a way. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Oh no! But what let's we let's bring out our hypnos. You know, of course. Again, we are yeah. on okay. one. Okay, chill. It's okay. Don't calm down. Don't tell them to calm down. They're gonna get really upset. With you. <laughs> oh, but there's a DP punish right off the bat here. I mean, Crusader is looking so strong in this pass. There's a nice two A though from Hubert. Time to get things started. Whoa. Jeez, and look at this, gas dunk with the frenzy. Oh, oh no. Head. See, the problem with this matchup is that Berserker has no idea what God is. Fears no God. <laughs> <laughs> He's never even heard a Bible verse in his life. Oh, you're dead. No, you aren't. Wow, could have gone into a wake. Oh, never mind, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. You're not. No, you are. Round two. My heart, it's a roller coaster of emotions every set. It really could be though, because that is how Berserker plays. If you put yourself into a dangerous situation. And all it takes is one drop. Can't mess up. Ooh, no! Oh my god. <laughs> look, oh, look, we can't use the Lord's name in vain, all right? Hey, man. <laughs> and it gets with the anti-air wall. This is going to be huge. These orb loops are so insane. There's the roll through. Still able to catch the second roll with a throw. Oh, no. Okay, dropped the combo, but goes hot this time as well, too. Hubert is getting a big follow up here. Again, dropping. Commit. Oh, but catches the end of the roll there with the 2A. Vagabond is going to be able to take game number one here with his insane Crusader. The body is broken for you. It's your body, though, this time. Like, the body is just a vessel, okay? The vessel for God's will. God's plan. Amen. Oh, oh no, I wasn't ready for that one. Oh my goodness. But what a roll there. Roll straight out of the instant overhead attempt. He's going to get a massive punish here as well, putting Cooper into the corner. Okay, nice OTG pick up. Yeah, got to stay crouching. 2A confirm. Oh no. Oh, the DP is gonna get punished with a standing S. Vagabond up another round here, threatening to go up 2 0. <laughs> hit it with the hit it with the hammer say, yes, Lord! Bam! <laughs> nice pick up here, gonna convert. Oh, goes for reset though. Still able to pick it up out of the air. You thought you could roll away, I converted! Not to a religion, but to your death. Still not dead yet, though. Gonna be able to survive this one, possibly. Another conversion out here. It's over. Oh, never mind. Oh, he didn't even need super either. <laughs> I'm never gonna win Will It Kill with Berserker. <laughs> All right, knock down here. Goes to the JBM, harassing with the plus frames on the 2A. Yeah, you have to be careful about guard canceling those. Luckily, Huber didn't get punished for it. Whoa, roll for DP there. And you saw there, punishing 2A from Vagabond. Big jump in a little bit too early. Walls up. Yo, escape the second wall, and look at that. Able to get a punish. And Awakening State here, too. Plenty of resources. We're not going to get a kill off this round. We got to go for a reset here. Yeah, I think Crusader is a little too me meaty for that here. Mm -hmm. 
Oh! Wow, what are you talking about? I thought he was gonna pull it out there right at the end. Oh my god. Oh, the 2B! Get the OTG, it's over! And you forgot to save you now, Vagabond! Look, look, chat, all I know is is that Berserker is definitely top 16, okay? For sure. That's true. That is factually correct. No one can argue that at all. That is a fact. Hell of a way to close out that round. A Vagabond is going to start off this next game incredibly strong. Unfortunate DP there is going to lead to a lot of life loss. Oh my god, uh, uh, what happened to Hubert's health? Uh, he got hit by that, you see that hammer? Okay. <laughs> the hammer does a oh lot no. of damage. When the Lord comes and knocking, you answer! And send you through Rip the it. cross. Round two. Oh, and he catches him with the anti-air wall yet again. That's one of the things, is it's so scary to jump against a character like Crusader who at any oh, yeah. moment can just summon that wall. Jeez, the throw. Yeah, get the OTG for the reset. Wow, is actually able to get through the DP there. But it's no. not gonna matter. Whoa. Right behind you. Nothing personal. And there it is, the hammer of dawn coming down to take the round for Vagabond. And that's the problem that we see all the time with Berserker, and I've mentioned it a few times, is that you are doing a ton of damage, oppressing your opponent, but at the same time, you're bleeding yourself dry, meaning exactly. if, you, if you slip up a single time, the opponent can just kill you with one confirm. And that is the high risk, high reward playstyle that Berserker players love. Cool, nice challenge mid screen. DP, right back at you, Vagabond. Holding their own. Nice roll, couple of them too, two A whiffing. But don't forget, you forgot to ask, does God approve of your rolling away out of this corner? Spear, have mercy on this poor oh. Yeah, the myth of 5-5 five, five matchups, is there someone you forgot to ask? Oh, okay. After that, the reversal throw. <laughs> That's one of the things I've noticed about Hubert so far tonight, is he's been a little too roll happy, right? <laughs> really enjoying the roll buff, and Vagabond is starting to really punish them, utilizing that 2A just to call them out. Ooh, swing and a miss. Oh, instant overhead is just going to whiff, actually. And with that armor coming through, mm -hmm. holy shit. Oh my god. Great DP, one more touch is all Vagabond needs, but so does Hubert. But unfortunately, Vagabond ran out of the install there, didn't have enough mana to go for the big swing, but just look at that! Ooh, powers through it with the DP, and Vagabond takes it 3-1! Normal versus Capcom 3. Here we go. A whole week of adventure to go across game to game. I mean, it's gonna be a wild time coming into 2023, that's for sure. Exactly. And Berserker Ghostblade, who is the better Slayer class advance? The Caesar Tractor, new challenger, round one. Fight. Nice dash up approach here, pushes to the corner, and Gaw Mat is still trying to dominate on the west side of the screen here. Here comes pressure from Hubert as well. Goes convert high. Nice 2B. Gonna get a confirm OTG, but not as much damage as we could have got. Nice follow up here. And look, just the back and forth of damage here, but you're about to push Hubert into a very strong position here. And Gaumat, not an awakening quite yet, but I don't think we're gonna need it here. There it goes, wrap it up. Gone mad, taking that first round. Great air to air. Carry over 
to that corner once again. And look, God Mad is still running it. Oh, jeez. Great DP timing. Right now, remember extending here, but good jump out here from God Mad. On in that teleport. Huber going to maintain this corner control. Frenzy is about to be activated again. And there we go. Awakening and Berserk State. Good. No, we're already too high up. Never mind. That'd be crazy, though. It would be too crazy, chat. There we go. Reset. Crazy low reset. Gonna get that confirmed. One round apiece. Zerk is already top one, y'all. Put, put Ghost Blade back down to uh, bottom one, and uh, Zerker goes back up to top one. I think that's an accurate assessment here. <laughs> All right, great convert just to make sure we can get that block. And wow, that was crazy. The DP was still active after the guard canceled. Oh, God, man, oh, got no. punished. <laughs> God, man, should still be alive. Oh no, we can push ourselves into Awakening and definite close this out here with the super. There it is. Yeah, this matchup is definitely a, a D12 roll. Um, plus your constitution <laughs> modifier. Uh, at disadvantage. No chat spitting. <laughs> nice. Oh, we'll catch him with the low. Yep, absolutely. And still holding on to this great quarter position once again. Yeah, got a little too aggressive though, overextended with the two A's, but it's still able to take the corner back. A nice jumping conversion here. Yeah, in this match, or this game in particular, uh, going very much like the first game did, right? It's just Huber went down in that first round and then made the comeback the following two rounds. Oh, up the overhead there, gets the throw. Oh, I'm mad, gonna be able to take the round here. Already activating the frenzy. Jeez, what a jump in, my god. I didn't even think the jump arc was gonna go that far. I don't think God Mad recognized that either. No, just got completely clapped by it there. And now has to hold all this pressure in the corner after this knockdown. Fakes out the overhead and goes for the low. Yeah, there's our frenzy. Awakening state, you're dead. Well done. There's your first round, round of peace. It's just crazy to watch Berserker play a completely different game at a low life point. But again, like we said, time and, like, time and time again for each bracket, that is the risk that Berserker takes. It, it's just coupled with some phenomenal options to keep that offensive pressure and make it work out for that character. I, I think Berserker is probably the truest sense of high risk, high reward of any fighting game character I've seen. <laughs> Ooh, nice convert high. But especially too, like if you make it to that life point and still play pretty well defensively, you get rewarded. Like it, it is like a big reward from that high risk because you get your health back and you're playing the game uh, by spending convert quite often. More often than a lot of characters because as you get closer to the awakening state, you get those benefits. Yeah, absolutely. And I believe he also did get some buffs to where he gains more white life or something like There's a white life buff. I'd have to reread it, but it allows him to really utilize conversion a lot more, even as if he wasn't already using it enough. Yeah, he, no, no, no. It's, he adds more chip damage on block in the awakening state. Oh, I see. So he's got more chip and uh, increased attack in awakening state. That'd be too crazy. Stop. He takes more white damage as he hits Awakening. That would be insane. That actually would be really cool. Oh, 
Oh no, I see what you're saying. Adjust yeah. to recover the HP with the existing white damage attack. So the white damage will keep following upward as he heals. Yes, yeah, so that's it. That's it. It does give him more options. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> that is really a cool buff. They really just are buffing him like crazy, but Godmad doesn't care about these buffs right now. He's putting in the pain here on Hubert. Goodness. Nice confirm from Godmad. Just wants to make sure we get closer to the left side of the screen. Yeah, that nice jump cancel. The softy combos. Alright, beautiful stuff. Got the awakening. This is where it starts to become a real problem. Yeah, I mean, if God, if this is a one-touch kill for both characters right now. Ooh, good guard here at the low. And to the oh! No! <laughs> this matchup is so fun. It's so fun to watch for moments like that. You teleport in and just get hit with a Helmbreaker and explode. I'm watching a forum argument on PFO. Which class is better, Berserker or Ghostblade right now? Like, that's... Well, Ghostblade is better. No, Berserker is better. Red versus blue, all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Oh, no, he wasn't able to get a big punish there on that nice whiff. That whiff punish, I should say. But he is going to be able to get the teleport in for the crumple here. Corner combo is coming for the hard knockdown. Cool. throw. Cupid's kind of crazy to try and challenge in that situation there and actually get out of the corner for it. But you you got to do a little, little something crazy, right? One touch, both players here. Chances big champions out of here, and that's the way that Hubert's trying to play, but gets caught back dashing to a gone man will take that lead. Now is gone mad threatening to send Hubert packing home in third place. And man. Who sent Gone Mad the losers? Gone Mad has been... It was Anton who sent Gone Mad the losers. So this has been a huge uphill climb before we even reach top eight. Jeez Louise, that was wild ago. Holy cow, all right. So this has been an insane losers run so far from Gone Mad, but Hubert trying to look to put a stop to it. You know Hubert wants that run back. DP up high, activating the frenzied state here. Beautiful swing. This is probably to take the corner coast to coast for sure. Yeah, 50% lead. Jeez, oh, the sandwich is still able to block the DP. And I don't even blame Hubert for going for that DP. You saw Gone Mad jump into the air, right? You're predicting that he's going to do something in the air like summon Ghost. Instead, he lands in time to block your DP and punish you. That's what I say, you know? You got to play several moves ahead. Great converts the DP this time and let the blood tidal wave fall over. Oh, recognize that the combo dropped and immediately converted to get the 2A. Yeah. Great reaction from Hubert. Plenty of scratch damage on Gone Mad. You're dead. Two, all. Woo. All right, all right. Everyone, take a drink, take a breather, because we are one game away from grand finals. Look what you did, Jobber. Everyone's upset that Dragon Knight's top one, according to you. You started this. I, I'm obviously the best DNF dual player of all time, so, you know. <laughs> so I've never won a tournament in my life. Unlike Hubert and Godmad here, who are putting in the work. It's nice. 
The follow-up frenzy state to pick up as well. We gotta get one more reset after this. Oh, I lied. I lied? Oh, you are dead. That is crazy. Yo, top three. Actually, uh, quadruple S. <laughs> SSR Top character. Free. SSR. Berserker is definitely one of the characters Round of all time. Two. Gold Indiana. Ultra Pole SSR. Uh, <laughs> Ava gone mad. Gonna be able to get the first blood here in this round. Not is it, not quite able to catch the roll through, but is gonna block the DP. This is huge. Nice. Uh, Cleave as well, too. Out of range of the DP, so gonna get a punish and a crumple state so that allows the recovery of the mana to come back to get these ghost follow-ups. Oh. But unfortunately drops there, still able to get the throw. Final game, final round. Wow, nice, just out of range of that far button there from Mr. Oh my god, let's get the trades! God man comes out on top! And I love that he runs him all the way to the corner before going for the confirm. Oh, gets the low crush! Huber trying to throw out that 2A is now in Awakening. But this is where Berserker can get scary. The mix is gonna connect wow. and God mad with a loser's run of a lifetime here. Moves on the grand finals to face Vagabond. That's crazy, Hubert is not gonna get this run back. I mean, well-deserved. God Mad put in some work throughout this entire bracket. Now you gotta go up against Vagabond. You're Look. going up against Crusader with Ghostblade?